Hello, is anyone here? Hello? Enchanté, mademoiselle. Oh, my! D delighted to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Hello, dearie. Bonjour. You're, you're, you're... Enchanted. Yes, madame. I am Lumiere. Uh, Godsworth, at your service. Mrs. Potts, pleasure to meet you, my dear. Babette, keeping things speed spot. Uh, hey guys. Hi. Uh, heard you guys talking? You guys, uh, having a kickback? We hanging? I'm so sorry. Um, but what, what are you? Oh, I am, uh... A loneliness pillow? Yeah, that beast bought me one night at like three in the morning when he was feeling real bummed. A loneliness pillow? Oh yeah, yeah, I've got the, uh, I've got uh, an arm for a uh, cuddling and uh, a pocket for authenticity. Right there. It's pretty neat because it makes me just like a human. No, you're not. How is this possible? How can you all talk? A witch put a curse over this castle. The curse transformed everyone who lived here into household objects. We all used to be humans. Ooh, so not me. Okay, I, I was a regular pillow, and the curse actually had a reverse effect on me. No one really knows why, but now I can talk, so it's pretty chill. Which is why we're so glad you're here. Perhaps you can break the spell. Then we can be human again. So, uh, this is actually the closest to a human that I have ever been. So, uh, I'm kind of not in a super rush to get the curse reversed, because I'm not... Not 100% sure what I'm going to turn into, you know what I mean? <laughs> we are just hoping she'll turn back into a regular silent pillow. You want to see something pretty chill? See this stain? It's not your cheese. Oh! Hi. Uh, oh. Free us from this prison. The, the Beast was having a rough night, watching hours and hours and hours of reruns of The Nanny, and he was crying all upon my body. Yeah, he dropped a load of nachos. Right there, on my torso. <laughs> It's pretty chill, because I'm like a human with a stain on their shirt. Not their shirt, that is a pillowcase. Pretty unchill, too, because uh, my hand can't quite reach it. <sighs> and I'm not about to jump in a washing machine, you know? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> but, mademoiselle, you are our guest. Guess what can we get you? A spot of tea, sweetheart. Perhaps we could tidy up your room. Would you like to rest your head in the crook of my armpit? Oh, no. Yeah. Yes, I can also mimic the rise and fall of a human chest, exhaling, if that provides you comfort. Okay, I, I can demonstrate if you would like. <clears throat> Very human-like. Took me a long time to master that. So. I just want to get out of here! Would you just cut it out? You're not even one of the useful enchanted objects, and you're scaring away our guests! I am? Oh, 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 man, oh, wow, like, I'm sorry, that was not chill. But also, a very human response to confrontation. Allow me to offer you an apology, Mint. Just reach into that pocket, grab it. I can't, I can't reach myself. You know, I was actually saving it for my future spouse, hoping to find another loneliness pillow. With a right arm, who can complete the other half of my torso. How romantic. Yeah, but it's a real small market. What are you doing roaming around my castle? Leave me alone, you foul beast! <laughs> I'm so sorry, monsieur. Oh, apologies, master. Could I tell you the, the time or something? Can I get you a spot of tea? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, all right. Would you like no. some human comfort breathing? <laughs> Thank you for watching this magical sketch from Studio C. For more entertaining content that emulates the warmth of human kindness, you can go to BYUtv.org or download the BYUtv app for free. And make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below on something that brings you comfort. Mm. Do you have a Tori? I'm your comfort. <laughs>